Yo, what is going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another video. This is a return visit for me. The OGs of this channel will remember me exploring this eight years ago, if not a little bit more. So if you're one of those, give yourself a pat on the back. If you're new to the scene, don't worry about it. We're gonna explore a very, very cool location here. 451,000 clicks on this. Look at this, park bus looks cute. Have you checked this bus over? Do you want me to tell you the craziest thing about this bus? Even though we've been sat here with the door open for I don't know how many years. Look at that, Plaxton coaches. It still smells like a bus that I can remember when I was a kid. Now, there's been a bit of trouble here over the last couple of years with people just smashing things up for no need and breaking things. Now, I don't agree with that. As you can see, it's a bit of a jungle in here as well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a look at all the buses on the inside first, and then we're gonna venture on out and check what we've got out there too. This old Optar buses, Optar, Optar. Not quite sure how you say it. These, well, these ones haven't moved in a long time. A lot of this stuff has changed over the last seven, eight years. Now, I last explored this place just over a year ago, and the outside has changed massively in that time already look at this auto box are we no we are manual as well wow fair play a lot of commercial vehicles in the uk are automatic well especially these days anyway look at this it is like a dashboard of a van really isn't it more so than a bus got some good headroom up in here as well I can imagine if they did close <laughs> and i got stuck in here that'd be funny wouldn't it see this is what i'm telling you about people just coming in and smashing it up i don't agree with that there's no need of it. If you're not aware, this is actually still owned by an elderly gentleman. That's why the stuff on the outside is constantly changing. So if you do come here, please be respectful. Don't smash or break anything up. John's Travel. Now I remember those buses as a kid in Merthyr Tidville where I grew up. Got another lovely one there as well. There's a lot of cool stuff here. Now I know some of these buses were meant to be like preservation buses. Um, they were going to just store them here till they were restored. This is a lot more smashed up than what it was as well, which is a shame. This Benz is beautiful. Look at the gear stick. Ignition barrel dropped as well on it, look. This is a great looking bus. And what I love about it as well, it, it has the body kit that you used to see on these which I think is very, very cool. Look, I'm not kidding you, this place just goes and goes and goes. There's an old LDV van over there, we'll go and check that out. This truck, I'm pretty sure used to be outside at the very beginning. The grill. We've even got the hubcaps. Ah, this thing needs to be on the road, not sitting in here rotting away. Think of all the big diesel engines in these buses though. See, don't need to be stickers either. Do you know, I'm so old school when it comes to exploring. I'm probably quite boring, aren't I? These are what used to do it for me. Just that shot there. <sighs> I love it. Macau on bus there, the colors of this one. I'm pretty sure either this one or that one is a Norfolk bus. Norwich way. If I'm wrong, I do apologize as we're going through here's a chassis you off something i'm guessing truck related another ldv van you now these used to just rot so bad so i'm quite surprised this is in not too bad a condition a little bit of british leyland for you i could imagine right if this r davis is still going and like randomly sees this video and it's like, oh, my van's there, still going. Well, I'm not going, but still around. That looks like a sort of an old ERF Albion sort of cab on that. So could even be an old food. And what I've done there is sell you some truck names from the 50s with a hope one of them was going to be correct. Let me tell you all my secrets. So as we go around this way, we'll go and have a little look. see what we can see around here see what i mean about the body kit on this really really cool 
never two old ones. Now I know this bus on the right. When I did this like seven, eight years ago, a guy messed and he's like, yo, that's my bus, they're storing it for me. We're gonna restore it. What happened? I love this thing. This looks like an old RV, doesn't it? Or some sort. Maybe it was a bus originally. And then it was converted into a camper. I don't know. Check it though. How cool would have this been? This would have been van life before van life was popular. Another Leyland. And then you've got the hangar, which is full of buses. But we'll go and have a look at that from the outside. Oh, getting cold up and everything is what I am. September 1978. Do you know, here's a bus I never actually ventured onto before. Oh yeah, look at that. This is like the 90s throwback. Just seeing seats and interiors like that for me. Just all stuff like this. I may be playing awful music. <laughs> I say awful music, so I was a kid at the time and I was obviously liking modern stuff. Now I'm 33 years of age. I kind of appreciate the eighties music. Another Optar in there. See how they scramble back around. I gotta do a bit of climbing now. And we'll pick it up when we're outside for you guys. So there we go, we're back out. And this is how on the main road this location is. But I'm pretty cool with it now, and all that bit's done. I almost feel like you can relax a little bit. See, these are new buses. That's what I mean, it's forever changing. Good four star fuel. 99 on the prices as well. Storm. This is great. I love this place. Great for the photo shoot as well because you can roll some cars in here yeah, and park up. Absolutely no problem. See, this bus, this is this was you last year. What I'm saying is most of this stuff on the outside is new over the last couple of years. I love that as well. And the grey arm coach too. Now the smell for everyone back home when you're just walking up to this bit. That does absolutely stink. So I'll show you in here first. It's a shame, isn't it, why this is just all left like it is. Oh that damp smell, wow. The keyboard there. This used to be storage, I'm guessing it still is. See how wet this place is getting. It's not going to be many more years, and all this is going to be gone. Bus blocking the entrance where you're. Bus is around there also. So let's head out here. Upstairs is just wooden stairs to a wooden like little platform. But you can't really see or do anything up there. best condition I guess for being in here out of the elements this stuff isn't rusting in here I know we've got moisture and stuff in the air look at that I'm guessing they were restoring things at some point they got a full bus frame there never seen something like that before so that's cool literally buses and buses I don't even know where to go in this part tell you a secret all the years I've come here this is the first time I've actually ventured into this building and that was only because it's wide open and I know there's another building on here that's got a Porsche and a couple of other old cars in it as well but we're not going to do that look at this <laughs> crazy is what that is right I'm going to take some photos we'll check this out in a bit boys and girls so it turns out rotten wood does actually still hold you <laughs> but yeah i'm respectful about where i explore you because one 
I know it's owned. Two, the guy's upset with people smashing things up. So there's bits I don't want to show you <laughs> just to preserve them. Same as I've never actually been in that part because it's always locked, sealed, and I ain't about breaking and entering into places. But seeing as the door was wide open, I thought we'll go and check it out. Yes. Kingston, is that like Kingston on Thames? Is this own London sort of bus? Who knows? But like that man bus, I like that looks kind of new, like just to have it sat up there rotting away. I know there's a new one over there. I'm not sure if he has a second place elsewhere. Yeah, it is like London Transport Services. That he actually uh you know, stores other buses and these are just parts. I don't know if I'm honest. Tax disc holder, look, when's the last time you saw one of those? Really, really cool location. Oh, cool, this is, this is fancy. It's like a Japanese bus or something with the... Uh, all the headrest covers on it. I'm guessing we've come straight out like service. Look, literally a football there. Back windows out in this thing. Cleaning products as well. There's the other shoe. Crazy. And it's a manual. But boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed this look around this location. Um, it's great to always come back here and check it out, take a little look. Blows my mind, really, really does blow my mind. But yeah, stay tuned. A lot more amazing locations coming very, very soon. Please consider subscribing if you already haven't, not to miss all this sort of stuff. But until next time, boys and girls, I shall see you soon. Boosh.